Hi preschool friends. Well, this week I am going to talk about tying shoes. Last week I sent um, some pictures to your moms and dads with different kinds of shoes that you could cut and color. Well, that was leading up to me talking about um, shoe tying. So in class, I know a lot of you guys have Velcro on your shoes, so um, you don't have to tie your shoes often with ties, but it's still very important to know how to tie. So like for instance, I have this sweatshirt on, this has ties, and if I wanted to tie it and make it a little tighter on my neck, I could do so. And then I have some my tennis shoes on right now, and I have my shoelaces on ties, so we'll practice with that. And then I also have a rope, and I'm gonna show you kind of a large way to how to tie shoes. I'm gonna use this, and I'm actually gonna tie my legs together, which sounds kind of silly, but I will show you in just a moment. So there's some words, I actually wrote them down so I could remember, but there's some words that I'm gonna have um, you use to remember how to tie. So I'm gonna first start off just with this, and you can look at me straight on. So it says crisscross, you're gonna take your two ties, I'm gonna crisscross, and then it says down, so I'm gonna kind of go down, and loop around. I'm gonna have my little loop around my finger, and I'm going to around my loop, and then right here I'm gonna push it through this little hole, and then I pull down. So I'm gonna have so I'm gonna actually just have this kind of hung like this, but that's one way to show you how to tie, but it's kind of from straight on. So I'm gonna show you from another way. So my daughter, Ava, she's the one behind the camera here. Thank you, Ava. She's gonna come around and she's gonna come this way. So you can see, like if you were tying your shoe, this is what it looks like. So I have both of my shoes here and they're both untied. And if I was walking around with these like this, I would probably trip and I wouldn't want that to happen. And how many times do I tell you guys, stop, we need to tie your shoe. So now when I say that, guess what? You can actually stop and tie your shoe. Pretty cool. So let me use these words again. So I have my two laces. I'm gonna crisscross my lace, and then I'm gonna pull it through like this, and I press down so that makes it kind of tight. I'm gonna loop like a little bunny. Here's my one little bunny ear. When I loop, now I'm going to take this other, this other part of my lace, and I'm gonna pull it around. And then this is kind of tricky, but there's this little hole right here. I'm going to then pull it through, push, push, push it through, and hold on to these two little bunny ears, and I'm gonna pull down. Very easy, and that made my little bow, like two bunny ears. Let's try it again. So I have my shoe, I always kind of pull, this is called the tongue of a shoe, doesn't that sound kind of crazy? But this is the tongue of a shoe, and I pull it like this because if it's too loose, it, 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 makes, your, um, it makes your shoe kind of slouch. So I'm gonna pull it up, and then I'm going to hold on to my two ties. I'm gonna crisscross, crisscross, and I'm gonna make a little loop through and pull it through so it kind of crisscrosses and I pull it down make it a little tight. I'm gonna make my little bunny ear loop and I'm gonna go round my bunny ear and then again there's this little tiny hole you have to kind of pull it through to make this little opening and when I see my lace I'm going to push it through and then I'm gonna pull down and then now I just created my little two bunny ears and it's my sweet little bow. So now my shoes are tied, I can go running, I can go dancing, I can go hopping. <laughs> now I'm going to use this rope. You could use a jump rope, you could use a piece of yarn. This rope was just in my garage and um, sometimes during the winter time we put some netting outside so it covers, our, um, it covers our bushes and we use this. So I was able to cut a little string off and I'm gonna put my leg straight down. I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna push it through my legs. So it kind of just looks like a big shoelace. And it's just easier for me to show you when it's a large string. So I have my big shoelace and I'm gonna crisscross it. I'm gonna crisscross it. And then I'm gonna kind of let it drop. I'm gonna pull it through so it kind of crisscrosses up at the top. 
Now I'm going to pull it down, make it a little tight. Now I'm going to make my sweet little loop, which looks like my bunny. And then I have my other part of my um, shoelace or my string, and I'm going to twist it around. And then look at this little hole here. This little hole is like a bunny hole. I'm going to push it through. And as I'm pushing it through, I'm still holding on to my other little bunny ear. I'm going to push it through and I'm going to pull down. And when I pull down, look what just happened, guys. I just tied my legs together. And if this was on my shoe, I would have tied my shoe. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yes, it is very cool. There we go. So you can kind of pull the ends so they're somewhat equal. And I think we're good to go. But now the problem is my legs are kind of tied together. <laughs> so I just pull the string, it's kind of like magic, and it undoes, um, kind of like my shoelaces, but it undoes, and so then I can try to practice again. So I don't know if you can see me. I miss you guys, and um, have fun practicing tying your shoes, and when you guys um, can do it, I would like to have Mama and Daddy send me either a picture or a video. And it makes my heart so happy. I miss you guys. Love you.